It's a rainy morning right here in Accra, the capital of our country, Ghana. And wherever you're watching us this morning, please know that we're here with you. If it's raining in your area, please let us know as you get interactive. Facebook, join us on TV. We also have a Twitter handle. You're watching us live through our YouTube channel, My Joe Online TV. But um, please, we have a, a message from the morning man. Koyo, good morning to you. Good morning to you. you look, uh, it's great to see you. You look exquisite. Oh, Magnifique. you're so kind. I thought, I'd, uh, I thought I'd make an effort for you and everyone else on this Monday morning. So uh, let's very quickly get to today's message from the morning man. I call this one orange juice. A college professor brought an orange to the class and asked his brightest student, what is this? Uh, of course, an orange is what um, the student said. And uh, with that, he responded, uh, are you sure? Uh, are you sure it's not an apple? He said, no, certainly not. Um, it's an orange. He said, okay, so what would happen if I squeezed this orange? And she responded, well, uh, orange juice would come out. He said, yeah, you sure? Not apple juice? And she said, no, most certainly it would be orange juice. And so the professor said, well, I want you to think about this. If you squeeze an orange, you can never get apple juice. So what would happen if somebody squeezed you? Imagine you were a fruit. What would come out? Would it be orange juice or apple juice? It's only what is in you that you can release when squeezed. So will it be positive energy? Will it be uh, determination, kindness, loving uh, nature, and of course a kind word? Or would it be harsh words? Would it be cruelty? Would it be uh, evil? Of course, uh, the young lady uh, thought about this for a moment, and uh, the, the professor's response was, you can only release what you have inside when squeezed. So today I want to ask you, under pressure, when squeezed, what will come out? Just about a night ago, um, I had a rather disturbing uh, experience. It's about 10 p.m. Uh, when I had an argument with somebody who for many years has always been able to press my buttons and always been able to get the worst out of me. I don't know how they do it, but they just know where to squeeze. So, of course, uh, my question to you is, uh, if you, like me, have someone in your life who is able to push your buttons, uh, it's not something to be ashamed of. It's something to work on. But when they push those buttons, what comes out? Uh, for me, this person liked to just uh, bring out the worst in me deliberately just for sport. And usually, the person succeeds in getting the baser animal in me to rear its ugly head. Now, I'm not proud of it, but I guess we all have pressure points, which, when squeezed, only the very worst of us spurts forth. It's something to be worked on, not something to be ashamed of. Anyway, this person has been succeeding in squeezing out the worst in me for years now, uh, until that day. Uh, and that day, I made a choice. I decided to let go. I decided enough was enough and that life was far too short for me to allow people who don't add to my life to have so much control over it. Now, once I made that decision, a ethereal calm settled over me. I closed my eyes, I took a deep breath, and allowed this person to squeeze. I was pushed, probed, prodded, and provoked, but all that came out of me was patience and pity. I had changed. I had changed what was inside of me. So no matter how hard I was squeezed, I was simply no longer an orange. My dear friend, wha what are you made of? What is inside you? If someone put pressure on you, what would come out? Are you proud of what sits inside you waiting for someone to bring it out? Or, or just by saying the wrong thing or even by looking at you funny? Listen, I want you to remember that you can almost never control what happens to you, but you can definitely control how you choose to react. Jesus said in Matthew 15, verse 18, But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defines a person. So maybe we need to stop trying to change the world and just focus on having a change of heart. Hmm? My name is Kujo Yangtze, and you can squeeze all you want. I'm no longer an orange. Good morning, Ghana. Ro. Yeah, that was an interesting one because yeah. that reminds me. I think last year, uh, my elder son had as one of his uh, resolutions from church uh -huh. um, that God should 
keep his anger in check. He says, wow. God, don't let me get angry. That's good. That's <laughs> yeah. Good. So anytime he tries, yeah, he, he works. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I try to prompt him anytime he wants to bully his uh, brother, younger yeah. brother, or tries to get angry. I say, please, your resolution the last year was Indeed. this. Yeah. Indeed. Then yeah. he'll tell me, oh, we're in a new year. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> but we have to start um, the latest from Ashanti region because we're getting some information. Uh, we've reported on it widely that apparently. Uh, members of the Delta Force. We know the uh, vigilante group associated with the New Patriotic Party. They disrupted a ceremony in which um, they had the Member of Parliament uh, for Tafo Pankrono, but also a member uh, of the Kufuado led uh, government. Mm. Uh, and Dr. Akutose uh, was nearly harassed, brutalized, mm. or nearly lynched, but had to be skidded off. Uh, the premises because you know he nearly could have been brutalized in the process yes we'll be learning more about that in the news and of course uh, on the show yeah subsequently yeah. now uh, it, it's been a year since seven lives were lost and several others injured um, in uh, an explosion at atomic junction near Medina right here in Accra several resolutions were made uh, including uh, government's uh, plans and proposals to set up a, a, a gas, uh, you know, cylinder uh, recirculation model. But of course, that was expected to see cylinder owners leaving their empty cylinders at the gas station and going home with an already filled one. Uh, just a year down the line, uh, we're starting to see that, uh, well, uh, not much of what was proposed has come to pass according to plan. And so today, we're going to do a review of uh, the government's efforts since that explosion uh, to see whether indeed um, those who are responsible for making things better so they never happen again have done their job. So we'll hear from uh, the National Petroleum uh, Authority as well as the Ghana National Fire Service. Uh, we'll also be live from the grounds where the explosion happened to see what's happened to the place and how the people who live and work around it have been affected one year on. But could you on Friday there was a ceremony to mm. award the Zevin teachers? That's uh, true, yes. Yeah. And we had a winner, didn't we? Nicholas yeah. Mawinya Bosse, uh, a teacher from Bishop Herman College in Pando, was the lucky winner. He walked away with uh, the most outstanding teacher award. Uh, and it's been rebranded, actually, the award, as the Ghana Teacher Prize. Yeah, if someone wants to go for the Kachia option. So yes, the Ghana Teacher Prize was <laughs> awarded to him, and he's expected to receive a three-bedroom apartment as well as 5,000 Ghana cities endowment fund mm. as his prize. And uh, we'll have a little chit-chat with him on the show today. Well, definitely. And after that chit-chat, we also will go to have um, a bigger story with him in his school during the week. But uh, we're talking also about the Cosmos Innovation Center, mm. which... Uh, has been a judge, the top prize winner for its exemplary public-private partnerships mm. that provide solutions to pressing issues in sectors such as economic development and workforce, mm. uh, as well as uh, the creation of employment for many people. It was awarded at the P3 Impact Awards created by Concordia, uh, the U.S. Department of State Office of Global Partnerships, and the University of Virginia, the Darden School of Business mm. as well. So, we we'll want to speak to the winners on the show today and also we'll tell you about uh, our latest hotline documentary, No Barriers. It was put together by uh, our, some of our, our great producers right here. Yeah. Are joining us. I think you'll like it. And uh, of course, yeah. as always, we'll wrap up the show with some showbiz news brought to you uh, by Awake Purified Water. I certainly can't wait to hear what's been happening in the world of showbiz over the weekend. Uh, quite a bit, I'm sure. And we'll bring you all the way up to speed. Definitely. <laughs> 